Okay, so question number 3.3. This is, is a very, very important question. Here it is given. You have two equally charged spheres, each of mass m, and are suspended from the same point by a silk thread of length l. So here this length is given l, and here you can see that here we have two spheres are present. Okay. Each are identical, mass are having same, and also charge they are having same. The distance between the spheres is x, which is very very less than l. Okay, this point which is given here, x is very very less than l. This shows that why this statement is given. This x is very very less than l. This is given only to indicate you that this angle which is forming here, this angle theta. Is very very small quantity. If you consider this distance to be very small in comparison to the length of that string, so here this angle theta will be also very small. Indirectly, this value is given that x is very very less than l. They are saying that that angle theta is very small. Okay, so find the rate dq by dt. You have to find out the rate dq by dt. So with which the charge leaks off from each sphere if they approach velocity varies as v is equals to a by root x where a is a constant okay so here they have given that the velocity equals to a by root x this one we can use wherever necessary and our aim is to find out dq by dt that means here i can get a idea that i have to create an expression where I need to express charge equals to some values. Okay, I need to make charge as my subject and I need to express, get an expression of charge in terms of some other quantities. Okay, so let us analyze this situation here very carefully. So when you analyze this situation here very carefully, you see these two uh, charged particles, they will repel each other with electrostatic force here I have mentioned Fe at the same time if I draw the free body diagram Mg will be acting in downward direction and also along this direction T tension is acting. So this T tension has two components along this way we have T cos theta component along this way we will have T sin theta component if this angle is given theta then this angle is also theta so like this we can separate the components. Now, in equilibrium condition for translational equilibrium we apply, then total upward force, downward force, right side force, left side force should be balanced. So, here I am balancing T cos theta with mg and T sin theta with electrostatic force Fe. Okay. Now, if you divide this equation 2 by equation 1, we are going to get tan theta equals to Fe by mg. Okay. This is very important. We are getting here tan theta equal to Fe by mg. This result is very, very important. So, here Fe I can expand, I can write in place of Fe as kq square by x square. Okay, in place of Fe, you can see I have just expanded this Fe and mg as it is, you can write. Okay, now you see, you will go to the question here. Initially, they mentioned that x is very, very less than L. So, for this indicates that our angle is very small. For small angles, we have some properties like sin theta equals to theta, tan theta also equal to theta. So, I can say that for small angles, sin theta will also equal to tan theta. So, in place of this tan theta, what I am going to substitute is sin theta. Okay, so here I have substituted sin theta. So, sin theta is now simply we can say that k q square, whatever expression we have written, the same expression only we have kept here. Okay, now in place of sin theta, just to see this triangle, this triangle you can see here, this one. So here this value, this length is we are having x by 2, okay. This length we are having x by 2 and this length we are having L in the question they have given. So sin theta, in place of sin theta, I can substitute x by 2 L, x by 2 whole divided by L or x by 2 L. So further processing this we can get x by 2 l equal to whatever in the RHS we have same as it is we have kept okay you just to see what is your aim your aim is to find dq by dt for that you need q charge tumhe chahiye charge ka value hume express karna hai here I have made the charge as my subject and rest everything I have kept to 
right side. Now we need to only differentiate with respect to time this value dq by dt. So here except this x cube rest all are constants. So these all constants have taken outside as it is I have just written like that. Okay. So x cube differentiation x to the power 3 by 2 x cube and here root is there. You see x cube also root is there. That means we can say here it is nothing but x to the power 3 by 2 differentiation. It is nothing but 3 by 2 into x to the power 1 by 2 and chain rule you will apply and you will write down dx by dt. Okay. Now just see in place of dx by dt, dx by dt is nothing but v and in the question they have given v is equals to a by root x. In the question they have given that this v is equals to a by root x. So here in place of dx by dt I am writing here a by root x. So why I am writing minus here because with the passage of time we can see the value of x is decreasing. So it, differentiation if you do then it is a decreasing value so negative sign you will substitute here. So minus a into root x you are getting. So here you can cancel this x to the power 1 by 2 and root x. Now rearrange this equation and you will get your answer. This is your answer. Okay. So dq by dt equals to minus 3a by 2 root or mg by 2kl. Okay. Just need to be careful that if in the option they are given that k is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught then you need to substitute the value of k here and you will get in terms of epsilon naught values. Okay. Thank you.